Fallout just dropped and I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know in this update fast. We have a unicorn brawler and a lobster brawler, a couple of new game modes, but first, from July 12th to July 31st, we will be revisiting classic Brawl Stars and that means the return of the Mega Box once more. How do you get Mega Boxes? Well, you have to collect star tokens from the first win of the day from game modes that have the star token visibly shown. You can also collect them from special quests that appear weekly. And finally, there's also a Mega Box challenge for those juicy rewards. You need to collect 12 star tokens to be able to redeem a mega box and you can choose to either open the mega box right away or collect and store them to open them all at once. What can you get from the mega boxes you ask? Well you can get brawlers, bling, skins, coins, power points, gems, and even the new hypercharge skins and the chroma sovereign bling rico and sovereign gem rico. It's not classic brawl without the classic skins and they will be coming back with a remodel with stellar shelly being a color variation of star shelly, boomer dynamite, deputy brock, Sher of Shelly and Rouge Rico being variations of other classic skins and all of these are obtainable for mega boxes. There are also two classic style game modes. Mirror Match is a mode where all the players play the same brawler and this rotates from a pool of the original 21 brawlers in the OG maps. Drum Roll is another modifier where you change to a new brawler every time you defeat an opposing brawler. Both these modes have the brawlers capped at power 9 running only the first star power with no abilities, no gadgets, no gears, no hyper -trap. It is the vanilla classic Brawl Stars experience, my guys. Barry is the latest epic thrower who should be released on July 4th with the Gods vs. Monsters season, and the pre-release should be somewhere around June 26th to June 27th. Don't quote me on that. He's a part of the Candyland trio and works with Mandy and Chester in Mandy's shop, all while wearing a unicorn costume, and boy does that get sweltering. With his main attack, Barry throws melted ice cream at the enemies, which seems to linger on the map for a while. These melted pools do 30 and 20 damage per tick, but it also heals allies for 660 health per tick. The reload speed, however, seems to be very slow at a little over 2 seconds, and the rain seems comparable to that of Barley. When using a super, Barry charges at enemies using his tail to spin and drop ice cream in his wake. If it connects, it does a whopping 30-40 damage to enemies. With his trade, Barry can also charge his super by healing teammates, which is the first time that's ever happened in Brawl Stars. He's gonna come with a 29 gem skin called Dark Horse Barry. Clancy is is the latest mythic brawler who should be released on August 1st with the paint brawl season and with a pre-release on either the 24th or 25th of July but again don't quote me on it. He's a part of the deep sea trio with Hank and and deals a ton of damage. Clancy has an upgrade system that is similar to Surge, and it has three stages. We don't know how many bullets it'll take to upgrade him, but it seems like the upgrade meter charges up based on how many attacks you hit. In the first stage, you fire one bullet, and in the second stage, it fires two. In the final stage, Clancy gets two sidewinders that shoot out a bullet from each of them diagonally, and he also moves faster. His super seems to be a burst of shards, and it also seems to be augmented based on the stage Clancy is in. Seems like stage 2 has a slightly longer range, and stage 3 lets him move a little faster while using the super. He's gonna be released with a 29 gem skin called the High Stakes Clancy. I'll go over both Barry and Clancy in a future sneak peek video, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We get 7 new hypercharges this update in Brawl Stars, which is the first time this happened. Barley's lets him throw 3 big Molotov cocktails that deal damage and also burn bushes wherever it lands. Frank's hypercharge allows his super to now break all the walls around him in a large radius. If you guys thought Angela wasn't broken, his super is now going to follow him wherever he goes in the map. Piper's reminds me of your fellow Primo and it drops a lot more bombs than before and she also knocks back enemies wherever she happens to land. Ems' hypercharge pushes back brawlers away from her along with the targeted spray to boot. Rico's super projectiles now bounce even further away and hopefully it's not as busted as the mutation was. Last but not least is Gale with his super which is now much wider and it fires off twice. I personally want the Rico one but what are you guys playing on getting. We got three new Brawl reworks coming to Brawl Stars. On top of the amazing hyper shards that Frank gets, he also has been reworked. Now, the lower Frank's health is, the faster he attacks. It's actually scary how fast he can attack in this scenario, and it should make him very viable from now on. This is Meg's second rework, and she now 
shoots even more projectiles in her mecha form, but the attack range of these projectiles is much smaller. There is no change to the base form though, so I'm not 100% sure how this is going to be playing out, but what do you guys think? Chester's first star power, the one that gives him an extra attack, will now be part of Chester's base kit, and his new star power will allow him to do more damage in his first attack. The Gods vs. Monsters season begins on July 4th, 2024, and it brings us eight new skins. So if you're going to be buying a Brawl Pass, please make sure to use code PAN. Medusa Ends will be the new Brawl Pass skin, and it comes with two Chroma variations, Sapphire Medusa, a blue variation, and Ruby Medusa, a red one, which you can get with a Brawl Pass Plus. Minotaur Bull bulldozes his way through the entire labyrinth all the way through to Star Park. The ruler of the seas is here with RT Poseidon. Dionysius Angelo is ready to party with the other gods. Harpy Melody who will ruin you with her bewitching harmonies, and this is also the ranked skin of the season. Piper is now the goddess of wisdom as Athena Piper, which is my favorite skin of the season. What's yours? The August season of the Brawl Pass is called Paint Brawl, and it brings us seven new skins which are very Splatoon inspired. Jellyfish Sandy is the Brawl Pass skin, and he comes with two chroma variations, Neon Jellyfish Sandy, which is a darker themed skin, and Glowing Jellyfish Sandy, which is a lighter one. Tentacle Bonnie looks very squid-like. Cuddlefoot Jackie sports the latest Brawl streetwear. Shell Blaster Gale, who now pushes enemies back with a Shell Blaster instead of a Snowblower, and he's also the red skin of the season. And finally, Aquamarine Sprout sporting a very cute face, which I really want to get. What are you guys planning on getting this season? There are still nine other skins to talk about. The Summer of Pirates is back with Sea Dog Ruff sporting Luffy's iconic scarf from One Piece. We also have a Buccaneer Barley whose likeness I can't figure out, and Meta War Doug, which is basically another One Piece reference referencing White Beer's mustache. We also get two new Supercell make skins, Mr. Dragon Fruit by Frankie, and taking a bite of him would probably be refreshing. And skating our way into Star Park is Double Trouble Amber by Ardre. Viking Bull gets a badass remodel equipped with an axe style shotgun along with a shield, and he also has a color variation called Norse Raider Bull. K Man Frank has been one of the most basic skins in the game, and it looks quite different than before, and he comes with a color variation called Prehistoric Frank as well. Paint Brawl is a completely new game mode coming to Brawl Stars in the um Paint Brawl season. Who'd have thunk it? And it is reminiscent of Splatoon. You have to paint the map with the help of the paint brawl, and it handles the same way as a brawl ball, or presents in present plunder do. But there's no physical goal. The objective here is to paint the map with your team's paint by throwing the paint brawl all over the map. And the team with the highest map coverage at the end wins the game. If brawlers die, however, they explode with the enemy team's colors. And this is probably going to be the most fun temporary game mode of all time. The community side of Brawl Stars hasn't really been that useful and Brawl Stars right now has started to rehaul their UI for this update and they made a slew of quality of life changes that aim to make the game easier to play with friends. You can now use QR codes to join in-game lobbies. Just remember though that the team up button is now at the bottom right in Brawl Stars so that might be confusing. Quick chat options are also now available in the menu itself instead of its own dedicated chat. Now you can add friends directly at the end screen of a match instead of trying to do it after exiting the lobby. And now you can also get double the XP while playing with a teammate. There are a lot of other changes coming to Brawl Stars. Hank's title has changed from the little Tenon to Brawn Ready. You can now see which year your account was created in your profile. The 7000 Blink cap has now been removed so you can keep getting Blink infinitely. Brock's base model has been reworked and now he has a lot more Riz. You can now see your unique Supercell ID in Brawl Stars in your profile. Current Master's rank position is also now displayed on your profile. If you like this video, make sure to watch my Brawl Talk live reaction here. And remember to use code PAN in the Brawl Stars shop.